All right, so we got Hogwarts Legacy Review. Let's get right into the video. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Yeah, pick him up. Like Stop talking. Me, I've been waiting for a truly excellent Harry Potter game since I was in the third grade. There have been some decent attempts, but none that come close to truly fulfilling the fantasy of receiving your own Hogwarts admission letter. With Hogwarts Legacy, I heard some people. Some people thought it was boring. Magic has finally been captured. It's open I liked it, map in my opinion. nails the vibe of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It has spellcasting combat that's stupefyingly good, the characters that inhabit it are charming and unforgettable, and it is positively brimming with countless diversions to soak up dozens of hours of your time. It may not be the most impressive technical achievement, and it yeah. is certainly cursed with a lack of enemy variety. But none of Hogwarts Legacy's issues can cast a descendo charm on this triumphant visit to the wizarding world. Okay, so I watched one game review on this, and they said that it was very boring. Uh, they said that it was just one big open world boring right type thing. With most Harry and tales before it, I disagree. Legacy's I really like it. more holes than a fishnet stocking, and sort of just <laughs> expects you to accept that its magical world makes no sense. This mystical action adventure RPG begins with you transferring to Hogwarts as a fifth year for unexplained reasons to do everything from attending classes to fighting giant spiders. The oh my god. The character creator has plenty of options for you to craft your ideal witch Listen, wizard. Listen, my dude had a crisp you hairline, bro. Immediately become entangled in a conflict between the wizarding world and an evil goblin. On top of that, because being in a secret society of wizards is apparently Bless not me. exciting enough, you Thank soon you. discover that you've got some freaky supercharged magical abilities that allow you to do extra cool stuff that also isn't really explained. If you're like me, you'll roll your eyes while 100 years worth of dead characters lecture you from paintings about the important history and how you have to save the world or whatever. But once that's over with, Legacy mostly redeems itself with a fantastic cast of non-painting characters that help boil things down into a not too convoluted good guys versus bad guys conflict that ends up being a largely enjoyable tale. Yeah. Uh, 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 I am Casting charms. Too late to study now. Just I'm, I'm joking. I can't do it. Friend you on campus, accompany you on certain quests, and help you hone your abilities as a magic user. Most are memorable and instantly endearing, like Sebastian, the cocky and morally pliable. Sebastian was all right. Good forgetting places you're not supposed to be. He was all right. Not Sai, the clever and unflappable Gryffindor. I had it all under control. Spending time with them and improving my social links through the relationship quest lines made my stay at Hogwarts all the more enjoyable. Unexpectedly, I even found myself looking forward to hanging out with my professors. Hey, whether it was professor, my professor, hey, professor his hair is looking really good. I can't lie. Something of a mentor that and a sidekick, clean. or the wisecracking charms teacher, Professor Ronan, who made me love him mostly by making fun of me. By the looks of it. You all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> Each of these characters feels like an indispensable piece of the school, and you could find them wandering the halls doing their thing and choose to spend time with your favorites. It's a huge and important part of the Hogwarts <laughs> fantasy that Legacy knocks out of the park. Even better, though, is the world itself, which is packed with that nearly is a clean everything suit. I wanted in a Potter Oh my god, look at that war. jacket. You'll find yourself wandering Hogwarts' stone out. cobbled halls and secret passageways, Flying around the Forbidden Forest on a broomstick. I love flying around in this game. Dark caves lit only by the glow of your Lumo spell. The developers at Avalanche have so brilliantly captured the look and feel of the Wizarding World that I was amazed at just being there, no matter what trivial errand I was wrapped up in. That immersion could occasionally be broken by bro, this right here is tough. performance during my time. This is so tough right here, bro. I though. love it. That includes frame rate inconsistency, weird lighting issues, yeah. aggressive pop in while moving around quickly, and more. This, yeah, there's a lot of glitches in this game. Every but... door in Hogwarts has a brief loading screen. It's understandable since there's so much packed into this beast of an adventure, but the PS5's promises of the death of loading screens haven't quite been lived up to here. I agree. I agree. Witching for a stitching. As someone okay. who finds the wand whipping fights in the movies fairly dull, I was very concerned that Hogwarts Legacy's spell slinging combat wouldn't be able to hold my attention across the no, it, 32 it, hours. No, it, it exploded my campaign. attentions, bro. Pause. But I can admit when I'm wrong. The combat is fantastic, Amazing. challenging, and utterly captivating. Amazing. There's a lot more to it than shooting balls of light out of a stick. 
Instead, the trick is in dodging and countering enemy attacks while pulling off creative combos. I didn't know how they were going to do this, bro, with the wand, bro. They, they example, did a really good job with this. Enemies toward you with Accio, bro, the spells are crazy, bro. Incendio, then blow them away with the explosive Bombarda spell. Chaining together abilities to make your opponents look like complete fools never yep. stops being amazing. I love this. Especially that's my favorite one. When you pick them up and you slam them, slam, that slam. Enhance your skills with modifiers that make your elemental spells fork to nearby enemies or transform into AoE attacks. Many of the combat encounters are legitimately challenging, too. I'll admit I died my fair share of times while trying to show off a new set of spells or by neglecting to see a goblin. Man, die with a spider, bro. Me. Improving your skills and figuring out which spells work best for you is a really entertaining process. Man, he almost killed his own boy. And the occasional maiming. There's even a perfect parry mechanic, which begs to be yep. mastered by tryhards like me looking for that extra dopamine hit that comes from a timely block at the last possible second. Yep. You'll also be forced to change up your tactics regularly, since many enemies have color-coded shields that can only be broken by spells of a particular type. For mm, example, so enemies tough. with a red shield won't be damaged until you hit them with a fire-based spell. Like with the red shield, yeah. You gotta hit them with a red spell, yeah. While the combat system never stops being entertaining, that's my favorite fight, one, bro. You pick them up and you slam, slam, slam. You'll see the same Amazing. Your faces a lot as you spend an enormous amount of your time fighting dark wizards, spiders, and goblins. I can't lie, the spiders in this game don't look that scary, and I hate spiders. That's the only thing I don't like, bro. Magical suit of armor as well but the enemy's legacy throws at you can wear thin pretty quick dwell for a spell okay What's when you're this? not lighting spiders on fire you'll need some lighter activities to spend your time with and it's actually kind of crazy just how many side tasks legacy gives you you could spend hours decorating your very own personal space in the room of requirement go around catching grooming and breeding all manner of fantastic beasts if you know where to find them practice your gardening or potion making bro imagine like and flying on like a bird bro a or like a eagle or whatever bro dueling ring with your that would be pretty sick bro even go full Voldemort and decide you want to become a master of the dark arts by learning the killing curse and other unspeakable acts. Isn't that Africadabra? About as oh, well as you'd expect I think I said it wrong. Choose to pursue it. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. That was not it's cool, not bro. Yo, Jack and cool, but what you just said was I found terrible. It downright difficult to not get distracted by a dozen things and forget what I'd originally set out to do. One of the ways you can completely forget about the looming goblin threat in the main story is by engaging in the over 100 side quests that are packed into the adventure. Not all of these diversions are equally This game is so big, it's Some crazy, bro. definitely your basic go here and kill or collect this thing errands that do little more than burn some time. But many feature one of the aforementioned awesome characters, asking you to solve their problems or help them get into some good old-fashioned mischief. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. He used to meet me on the east side. Appropriately rewarded for your efforts, whether that's earning some gear to upgrade your stats, yeah, cosmetic I'm items to I improve with your the swagger, or best of all, new spells. The ultimate carrot in a incendio. I love incendio, bro. I'm sorry. Magic you know how to cast. For example, one side quest gives you the Alohomora spell, which in classic Metroidvania fashion allows you to literally unlock doors and get into places previously uh, inaccessible okay. to you. Collecting spells goes a long way to opening up the map and giving you a better bag of tricks during okay, combat. Okay, my favorite spells. Um, myself my three favorite spells. Thirsting for as many of these games. This one where you pick them up, slam, slam, slam. Pause on. The gear that you'll Incendio. find doesn't really allow you and to create full-on builds per se. It's something to start with an R. Resistances and buffs to your character. I don't know. And can I forgot spend his name. Time upgrading and modifying your best items for minor improvements. None of it is particularly game-changing stuff. That coat is not. Let me stop. I'm not even gonna roast you, bro. Enough for me to spend a good chunk of my time looking at my equipment. Of course, the real loot game is about yes, the cosmetics. Sir. A fact that Legacy seems to be keenly aware. Okay, of Okay, never mind. All right, that looks hard. That looks hard. That looks hard. Okay, he dripped that. Out. all over the place yeah i dripped out look at him fact, but pimping out my slytherin legend to outshine all the kids Ooh, okay no no, no 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 go back go back go back he looks pimping bro all, you can with the second one the appearance of any gear you've got equipped with the look of anything you've acquired so far which is just fantastic verdict all right 
In nearly every way, Hogwarts Legacy is the Harry Potter RPG I've always wanted to play. They did a really good job with this. The adventure captures all the excitement and wonder of the wizarding world with its memorable new characters, challenging and nuanced combat, and a wonderfully executed Hogwarts student fantasy that kept me glued to my controller for dozens of hours. It's certainly weighed down by technical issues, an unexciting but inoffensive main story, and slim enemy variety, but even those couldn't come close to breaking Making the enchanting spell it cast on me. For more, check out our reviews of Hi Fi Rush and oh, SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. And I didn't even check out the SpongeBob game. Other than that, all right, what I'm going to say is like the whole time was um, I think the game, I think the game, right, it deserved, it deserved the game itself. Forget, forget the whole thing about, uh, about what's going on with the, you know, with the, what was it? The, fa the with the creator of uh, of Harry Potter, forget all that, right? Forget all that. If we're talking about the game itself, the game was really good, in my opinion. Uh, they did have a few glitches, yeah, but what game doesn't have glitches? Okay, that's number one. Number two, the whole a, a lot of people are giving their verdict off of this game based off what the lady from Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. Uh, I'm thinking, I think she's the the. I think she's the creator of uh, Harry Potter. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But yeah, a lot of the a lot of the people, I think me personally, I think some people, a big chunk of people, like the game. But since you know J.K. Rowling said what she said, I don't know what she said, but a lot of people are saying that she said something messed up or whatever um, about like trans or something like that. Her and the game have nothing to do. No. Just because it's like a Harry Potter, you know, type of game doesn't mean that you do you know what I mean? And, and for some people, that's like, it's, it, listen, if you're watching this video and, you know, you didn't like the game because of the whole JK, JK Rowling thing or Rowling thing, however you say your last name. I'm sorry if I messed up your last name. If you ever see this video, if you if you are giving your opinion based off of that, stop, stop. I want you to sit here and, and truly think, okay, was my was my score or was my decision uh, decision of not liking the game based off of what this lady said? She's not even a part. I could see if, if the whole development team of, of Hogwarts Legacy was terrible, out downright despicable, they were bad people. I can see I understand that. Then at that point you would say, okay, cool. Like the game is good, but the but the people who made this game, terrible people. Okay, I understand that. But they the people that made this game, the development team, and J.K. Rowling, they have nothing. Well, in my knowledge, they have nothing. They just made the game. She makes the movies. Okay, she controls the movies. Blah blah blah. They just makes the game. They make the game. So for you to, you know, judge off of your hatred from another person of what they said i don't know what she said but at the end of the day these are two different things so that's this is where this game got most of the hate from anyway in the first place but yeah i don't know hopefully um you guys like like the game i love the game in my opinion subscribe to the channel like the video and um and yeah peace out everybody